Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to talk about cost-benefit analysis. How to make money by making clever decisions. And maybe after that we find out that what you and I learned in university is totally wrong. You calculate the period, so you look at a certain amount of time. Usually in Germany we try to get a return on invest after 10 years. Okay, let me make an example. Back in the days we were thinking, do I buy a gasoline or a diesel car? The diesel car was expensive at the beginning, but more fuel efficient. If I travel a certain distance in the life cycle of a car, I decide for diesel or gasoline. No matter what I decided, I had to pay. This is wrong because actually we compare costs to other costs because at all times we are consuming energy. Since I am engineer, there was this gorgeous invention and thank God there's photovoltaics. And at this point, you can really produce energy yourself. If we then compare, for instance, like this simple calculation, yes, we have this diesel car and we have a car which is hydrogen converted. You can produce the hydrogen by solar, which is for free. You have a really, you win really something and that's what is different. You will find the free Excel tool on the Volks Electrolyzer homepage. This is a dynamic calculation. You have like the actual costs at all time accurately. You see here the inflation is getting more and the costs for diesel is getting higher so the cost per year will get slightly more. And here at this point, we see where we start with our electrolyzer. This is a very, very basic conversion. This is just a 250 bar version with a compressed natural gas system, which is bloody cheap. This is the cheapest option. You can run your car for free, yes. But what happens here, you pay back your interest and after 10 years we have zero credit. But at this point, there's where our savings go in. After 20 years, you saved 8,300 euro. And on the other hand, if you look at your diesel car, you would have spent 86,980 euro. So you have almost spent 100,000 euro on diesel only and you have won nothing you can change the car you can run a more efficient car but still you only lose money you only pay money to the gas station and this is what actually shows what is wrong about cost benefit analysis when i think about hydrogen and about converting my car, so if I convert my car, which I already have, and I make a profit out of it, it is a positive number. And that's actually what will happen with hydrogen, because our production will suddenly raise. Because here we have the first electrolyzer with maybe a little production of hydrogen, but then it's getting more because we buy, we see, we can make euro and after 10 years we maybe have uh, paid back the electrolyzer. And then we say, okay, let's increase, let's have more solar because we consume a lot more than we can produce. Yes, to have the lithium batteries and all the stuff, uh, all the infrastructure to produce. We have to save a lot of money and that's why we constantly will increase and I invite you for this positive development and I thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments if you think that comparing two different costs is no win at all. If you think your own produced energy is a real win, then let me know this in the comments and see you next time.